someone. Thank you because of what your spirit is saying. Yes, even the spirit of the Lord is saying someone is battling with the spirit of discouragement. You are just heartbroken and you are giving up on everything. God is speaking to you today. The Lord is saying I'm raising you up again. There are things that have happened in your life that have broken your heart. And you are so discouraged. The living God has seen you. Someone is feeling like trying nothing. You are so downcast in your spirit. The Lord is ministering to you right now. God is causing a wind to blow over your life. And it is not one. The Lord is saying there are several people that God is touching right now. Because their hearts were broken. Maybe because of words they had. Maybe because of how someone treated them. And they feel like giving up. They don't want to try anything. And it is a strategy of the enemy to destroy your life. Even some, the Lord is saying in the spirit that there are some that are not even going to church as at now. You feel you have lost meaning for life. And even when you hear preachers preach, you don't make sense of it. The enemy has hatched out a plan to destroy your life. Now God is speaking to you. 
And right now, wherever you are, God is touching your heart and your heart is turning. Your heart is changing. There's like a wind that is blowing upon your spirit. And it is like a rejamination. It's like you are germinating again. You are coming. You are springing up out of where you were locked. Receive the power of God. Receive the refreshing of the spirit of Christ. It is happening right now. Receive it in Jesus name. Receive it. Receive it. God is ministering to you. I may not be near to lay my hands on you. But the spirit who is limitless, the spirit of God who is not limited is touching you. Arise. Stop. Put yourself together. God will use you again. God is saying, I will use you again. I'm talking to someone that was even a praise leader in a church somewhere. But because of things that happen, you are not even going to church. Leave alone leading praise. God is saying people may have given up on you, but they have not given up on you. God is speaking to someone this morning. God is ministering to someone. This is not what I had purpose to come and say, but I just hear the spirit of God speaking to you. My sister, my brother, wherever you are, Rally your strength together because God is saying, I'm coming for you. And I'm raising you up and I will use you again. I will use you again. No matter what happened, whatever happened, I will work on it. I'm powerful enough to turn around the situation. So arise. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you because you have spoken about these dear ones. Something happened and just broke their hearts. And they are so discouraged. But God, I thank you because from this moment, God, their spirits are, speak, are springing back to life. They are finding meaning again. Spirit of the Lord, touch them. Touch them. And someone, some of you, what you're feeling now, it's like someone is laying their hands on you. You are alone somewhere. You are alone somewhere. You are feeling hands upon your head. That is God ministering to you. Receive fresh strength. Receive fresh strength. Receive new power. Your spirit is strengthened. Arise in the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of God. Receive the touch of God. Wakati waukame. The Lord is touching someone. Uwachi All that, that are discouraged I see fathers that are discouraged Maybe by the performance of their children in school I see mothers that are discouraged I see businessmen that are discouraged The Lord is saying don't give up I have not abandoned you. Don't give up. Strengthen yourself in the Lord. Receive the power from Christ. Receive the anointing. Receive the touch of Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we love you. Thank you for what you're doing. You are watering the land. There is a watering by the Spirit that is going on. 
Receive new strength. Receive new strength. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Indeed, we thank God. The, the Lord is touching. The, there is a move of God that is going on. And God, God is moving and is touching lives. Amen. Amen. I say again, God is touching you. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because of the way you are touching that mama. Thank you for the way you are touching that baba. Thank you, God, for the young men you are raising this morning. We give you all the glory. We give you praise. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is moving in a mighty way. God is saying, do it again. Pick this word that God is speaking to you and do it in your life. God is saying, do it again. You had even promised yourself, I will never try again. Don't give up. Don't give up. There is much, 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 much more that God has laid in store for you. Let's give a shout to the Lord and say an hallelujah. Amen. 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 God, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for those who are joining us on uh, uh, media, uh, social media uh, platforms. God bless you. Kavumbi, Dorothy, Faith, Cynthia, Favor, Fildelma, Winrose, Daniel. God bless you. Uh, Monica Ndunge. God bless you. Many, many more are watching. Keep your comments coming. Thank you for those who are responding uh, through Mpesa, Violet, James, uh, Johnston Bidi. Thank you so much, Jennifer, Serujo, Serujogi, and Samuel Dirito. God bless you. Thank you so much for the way you are serving God. And continue to keep sending your offerings. When we come here, we mobilize um, for the operations of EBN TV. And we are preparing ourselves for a great move of God to reach the ends of and the frontiers of this nation. Fill it and saturate it with the gospel through EBN TV. We have started a journey. We need your encouragement. And God bless you. Amen. Before we receive the word of God, um, our brother Barton King has been a great blessing to this nation. And I will be allowing him to maybe do one or two of his songs. I know his songs are short songs. And then we shall come and hear the word of God. Do not go away. There is much, much that God has kept for you. Amen. So greet us as they bring your music on in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here and thank you for joining us. Uh, we thank God for the man of God who God has used in a great way to impart our lives and to be a great blessing to us. My songs are on YouTube, so you can go and watch all of them. There are so many, and I believe that the Lord will bless you. So I'm going to do a song called Umeinuliwa. And uh, the man of God prayed for me when I was releasing this song, and I saw great favor. It's one of my best songs. It's been sung in churches since I started singing my songs. Have been and you know, I remember very well. Remember you ran, you came carrying a seed yes, in an envelope bring, yes. and you placed it on my desk yes. and you knelt down yes. and you said, anoint me. And I told you to write the name of the song, yes. poured oil on it and yes. placed it before yes. God. And then you released me to the nations. You said this song will be sung in churches, in wow. big platforms. Wow. And sure enough, I've seen God. Amen. So Bring thank it you on. So much. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I, all right. Yo 
tena malaika pia wana kwa budu wewe Wana inama wana inuka wakisema wewe ni mungu Sifa zako zime tanda tanda dunia na mingu yote Utukufu wako ume tanda tanda dunia na mingu yote baba Niyo mana ninasema Praise the Lord. The man of God has already started ministering to people. And today it feels like a service of ministration to the hearts of people. I can feel it. And so the Lord is closer to you. Even as the man of God was saying, those who are feeling discouraged, don't be discouraged. The Lord is very close to you. Karibu na wewe, mungu anasema. Hiyo ni sauti ya mungu. Amen. We thank God. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Nasema hatu upitapo kwenye moto Isaiah 43. Hata kuwa pomoja na wewe. Hatu upitapo kwenye majimengi hauta zama. Wala moto hauta teketea. Maana mimi buwana mungu ni kukaribu sana na wewe. Glory to Jesus. Please give us that song in Jesus name. Let's give your blessing to the people of God. Karibu na wewe. Ni kukaribu na wewe. Buwana mungu ni kukaribu na wewe. Karibu na wewe, niko karibu na wewe, mwanangu niko karibu na wewe. Kuna wakati na hisi kama mwanangu.
yale unayoyaona ambayo ningekuruhusu uyaone ungeona kama yako ni tole la maji baharini hivyo usiogope maana hutaibika utaifahau ayo jana wako maana mimi bwana mungu wako nimekuita kama mke aliyeachwa na kuzunishwa roho kwa kwa kitambo kidogo nimekuacha lakini kwa rehema nyingi nitakukusanya kwa hasira nyingi nilifikisha uso wangu kwako lakini kwa fadhili za milele nitakuonea Give the Lord praise in this place. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, Baton King. And thank you for coming to EBN Studios and joining in our program, Your Faith, today. And for all our viewers, I would really encourage you to uh, take time to go to YouTube and like these songs and subscribe to the channel and, and follow every time um, there and leave a like and you know make a comment there let's make the video also be very famous amen and it is also a way of being a blessing to the ministers of the gospel we don't want them to leave uh the faith and then begin to sing wildly songs and uh, many many gospel singers have left the faith because we, the church, we do not support them and we do not recognize their ministries. So let us support our very own. The world is supporting their own because that is what they like. And we, we are called to walk in the ways of God. Let's love the ministry of those that God is using. Bless the name of Jesus. Wonderful, wonderful. Please, wherever you're watching this program, if it's on social media, share to all your contacts and invite people to watch uh, share the link with your friends let us take this gospel far and wide now thank god is social media and we can reach people in america reach people everywhere just share the link and talk to somebody about what is happening at ebn tv amen god bless you i'll allow you to sit maybe for a short while but i want to share uh, the word that God laid in my spirit and I believe this word is for someone amen and and I believe it is time for you to be lifted and, and I want you every time you hear the preaching of the word of God you prepare yourself because God uses his word to do things even right from the beginning when he created the heavens and the earth he used his word he said, let there be, and it was there. So today, I want to share the word of God. And I'm talking about understanding the value of giving to God. And, and I know the issue of giving has been mishandled and misquoted and mismanaged in many places. And... Uh, Right now, as I'm speaking here on EBN TV, many people do not possess the correct understanding of giving to the Lord. And because of, of course, because of some people that have abused and misused the scriptural value of giving, many feel like I don't want to give anymore. I'm giving to uh, enrich a man. But uh, I want to come and share with you because if you understand properly the value and the power of giving, your life is going to change. Scripture has shown that people changed their lives as they served God through giving. Giving to the work of the kingdom, supporting what was happening in the kingdom of God. To start us off in our sharing today, I want to read the book of Genesis. Genesis um, um, chapter, um, chapter 4, beginning from verse 3. The Bible says, And in the process of time, 
It came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel he also brought to, to the Lord of the firstlings of the flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had no respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? I want to say giving is the oldest practice of faith that I can ever remember. Of course, I'm a theologian and I've been through scripture for many times. But you see the practice of faith through giving to the Lord. Being at the very, very beginning. When there were not many people on the face of the earth. And God put it in their hearts. I see right from the beginning. God loves and wants his people to give an offering to him. That the enemy is trying to water it down. And as I continue to share with you. Of course, you're going to understand why the devil is hating giving so much. If you go to social media places, you'll discover the hatred of the enemy towards the practice of giving. And you wonder why so much negativity towards just an act of giving. Because people are giving all over. People are giving to charity. People are giving to many causes. But when it comes to giving to the Lord, there appears to be a big problem. And I want to say, this hatred towards giving to the Lord is coming from the very seat of Satan himself. And the people of God needs to be wise enough not to be trapped by the enemy and to to be caused by the enemy to miss their blessing because when I talk about value, I will be talking about what happens when you give. But this is an amazing scripture. And let me tell you something because your mind has to be clear and your heart has to be free if you're going to be giving to the Lord and you will serve God with the material things that he has blessed you with. If you are going to serve God, you are going to know this one fact. Nobody can change the word of God. And nothing can make the word of God to be redundant. The Bible says, forever the word of God is settled in heaven. And nobody can do anything to the word of God. Many people say, oh, there are many manipulators. And the people are manipulating people to enrich themselves. And so, this word has gone so much. I want to say this. No matter who has misused the value of giving. And the practice of giving to the Lord. It, it, that person can never change the word of God. This word is so settled. This word is so steadfast. This word is so settled in heaven. And no matter who is misusing and abusing the practice of giving and offering to the Lord. They can never change the value of it. Listen to me child of God. Wherever you are. The value of giving still stands before God. Let people say whatever they might want to say. But God values giving himself. God the creator. 
of heaven and earth. He values an offering so much. By the way, you did not know that. But God values your offering. He loves your giving. Praise the Lord. So, we have to clear the confusion. And we must refuse to be caught up in arguments and the debates. And sometimes it's good to ask yourself, who is this opposing giving to the Lord so much? And what is their faith? And sometimes you have listened to people who are not worthy to be listened by people who carry the faith of Jesus in them. And we have heard what he said and we allowed it to affect us. Now, listen to me because I want you to be liberated. And I want your life to change by obeying the word of God. Just notice that, whatever you're watching, just notice that giving to the Lord is the oldest practice of faith. Right from the beginning. Right from the beginning. So it is not something a preacher who rose just the other day is crafting. And when God established this ordinance and practice, he did it because he knew his kingdom must thrive. When we give to the Lord, setting up a television like this one, not for personal gain or personal uh, enrichment, when we build churches, when we give towards crusades and the preaching of the gospel, God established this practice and ordinance so that his people can extend the kingdom of God. So he established it and it is established. It has its power and value. And it's a great blessing if you know the secret of walking with an offering before the Lord. The people of old valued giving an offering to the Lord so much that every place they went, they went with an offering in the pocket. Because they could meet a man of God or meet an altar somewhere and want to uh, offer something. And in those days, they offered much oil. They offered um, gold and silver. They offered animals before the Lord. Another thing you need to know, notice that giving to the Lord as a defining power. The scripture that I've just read shows that giving to the Lord defines the life of a man. Hallelujah. Giving and offering as defining power. And I see two men, according to what the Bible is saying, they are bringing an offering before the Lord. And God defines each according to their offering. Those who gave well, Abel giving a valuable, well thought offering, God respects, God is happy with him. God took notice of him. God recognized his giving. And it defined him as a good man. Cain, his brother, also gave an offering. But his offering was out of, not out of a clean heart. And because his heart and love for God was not there. Because even when we talk about giving, we don't give for the sake of giving. We give because we love the Lord. We love Jesus. And so Cain, because he did not attach value to giving to the Lord, the giving act itself defined him as a wicked man. It defined him on the spot. But listen to me, child of God. Giving to the Lord does not just define a man presently where they are, but it actually defines their future. 
if you have the practice of giving and offering, supporting the work of God, you will discover that your future is also defined. And the future of Abel was defined as a blessed future. And the future of Cain was defined as a cast future. Giving has power. Giving to the Lord has power to define the life of a man. And maybe I can challenge you this morning. How does God define your life? And when it comes to giving, can God define your life? Think about it. Think about it. And I want you to notice that uh, giving triggers favor. It triggers the goodness of God to flow in someone's life. In the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 38. The Bible says give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Pressed down. And shaken together. And running over. Shall men give. Into your bosom. For with the same measure. That you meet with all. It shall be measured to you again. Now I want you to see. I want you to see something here. That giving appears to trigger the favor of God. Maybe you have struggled so much and you have not been a good giver to the Lord. You can break your struggling by giving to the Lord. I can confidently say that as a man of God. And as a theologian, I can attach theological value to it. If you give your life, it's going to be favored of God. God will love you. God will show his goodness to your life. I want you to see that giving to the Lord is transactional. And this is where I will want to dwell a little bit. Then I finish. Many people drop just an offering. But God wants us to take it to a new value and a new level in our lives. When you give, you must give transactionally. You are not just giving, you are giving to receive. Many complainers, people who complain about giving, they complain because their attitude towards giving is wrong. They don't give transactionally. And God wants us, when we give, to expect a blessing. When you give, expect the blessing of God. The Bible says, give and it shall 